Yo, what's going on everyone? Welcome to a brand new video. Today I'm listing out my top 5 matches of 2018, the best games in the AFL in 2018. Thank you a lot, I don't remember quite who suggested it to me, but in a stream the other night, I was hopping on playing some 2k, someone suggested this to me. If you have any video suggestions, leave them in the comments down below. If I like it, I'll mention you in the video as I do it. And yeah, anyway, remember this is just my opinion and let me know if I missed any of the best matches of the year because I'm sure I did and uh, also don't forget to leave your top five if you'd like in the comments down below as well just so we can compare our lists anyway I have two honorable mentions and the first one goes to the Richmond vs Western Bulldogs game in round 23 and then the second one goes to Sydney vs Melbourne in round 21 which obviously had a lot of big moments but wasn't as close as some of the others Alright, so coming in at number 5, we have Essendon first North Melbourne in round 15. This game is not quite as close as the rest of the games on this list, nor the honourable mentions, but it has to be one of the best first halves of footy of all time. The Bombers ended up walking away victors 19-11-125 to 16-12-108 at Etihad Stadium, with the half-time scores being, inc being an incredible 84-64. It was a classic shootout game of footy that should be shown to anyone who has not grown up with the game. It was probably the most exciting end end to end game of footy this year that also featured fantastic goals and high flying marks. If you, ever have, if you ever have a couple hours of spare time, I recommend watching this game of footy for a rush of excitement to remind you why we love this great sport. At number 4, we have Geelong vs Hawthorne at the MCG in round 2. In the first real thriller of the year, the Hawthorne Hawks outlasted the Geelong Cats to win by 1 point at the MCG in a high scoring affair. The total scores being 18-9-117 to 17-16-118. The Hawks had a 4 goal lead early in the final term, but the Cats fought their way back into the game, with Brendan Parfitt kicking a goal from just outside the goal square with just under 4 minutes left drawing the game even. With a minute left, Isaac Smith swung around onto his left boot and kicked inside forward 50 to the reliable hands of captain Jared Rothhead, who outmarked young stud Zach Guthrie. In a slightly anticlimactic way, Rothhead snapped it behind, meaning the Cats were still in with a massive chance, but they had to get the ball down in their end very quickly. However, it wasn't to be as the final siren sounded on Easter Monday to the joy of Hawks and footy fans around, in, around Australia after seeing a classic game of AFL football. Coming in at number 3, we have Geelong vs Melbourne round 18 2018. Geelong and Melbourne had two fantastic games during the season, but this game had to take the cake. Down at Cadinia Park, Irishman Zach Tui kicked a goal after the siren to cap off a brilliant game of football. Tom Hawkins celebrated his birthday in style, kicking four out of his total seven goals in the final term. However, at the start of the last quarter, it looked as if Geelong were down and out of it. But the Cats refused to give up, and it took them until the 34th minute mark to complete the comeback in front of the hometown fans in Geelong. With 10 seconds left in the game, Mitch Duncan booted the ball inside 50, and Zach Tui took a wonderful mark. As Cat supporters watched on in near silence, the Demons had about 6 men on the mark, but it did not phase the defender as he kicked Trawley and sent Geelong fans home happy. At number 2, we have the Port Adelaide vs West Coast game in round 21. A hero at the Adelaide Oval, and it was a villain for Port Adelaide. Mitch's brother Jeremy McGovern kicked a goal after the siren in about the same area Luke Shuey did a year ago in the 2017 elimination final to win the West Coast Eagles the game. It was a breathtaking last minute for the Eagles as with 50 seconds left on the clock, Jamie Cripps managed to get a handball over the top to experience goal kicker Mark LaCora who breathed some life into the game for the Eagles. 20 seconds later, Scott Lysette managed to kick the ball inside 50 and find the reliable hands of Jeremy Mc Jeremy McGovern, the best contested mark in the game, who had been pushed forward in the final quarter. 
McGovern took his 30 seconds off the clock and begun his set shot right as the final siren blew. From 44 metres out, he split in the middle, and his Eagles teammates swarmed around their heroic teammate. And finally, at number one, we have Port Adelaide versus Adelaide in round eight. Stephen Motlop was the hero in his first ever showdown, putting a goal with 21 seconds remaining in the match to give the power a massive win against their biggest rivals. Adelaide had thought they had the game won and put away with 47 seconds left on the clock after Mitch McGovern kicked Trawley from just inside 50. But it wasn't to be as Motlop set the Adelaide Oval alight. However, Motlop wasn't the only hero in this game for Port Adelaide, as Robbie Gray kicked five out of his total six goals in the third quarter, a good enough effort for him to claim his third ever set showdown medal. Anyway guys, there we have it. Thank you for sticking around until the end of the video. Uh, there were a few misspoken words in there. I, I didn't read the script too well. It was a very poorly written script. But I put a fair bit of time into it uh, the other night. So we made it work in the end. Anyway, thank you all for watching and I hope you did enjoy. I'll see you guys next time.